goalies. In this video, we're going to go over three ways to improve your skating as a goaltender. Tip number one, five minutes of skating every ice session. If you wanna be a successful goaltender, which I can assume you do because you are watching this video, starting today, I want you to do five minutes of skating at the beginning of every single ice time. If you do a proper off ice warm up, you won't waste the first five minutes sitting on your pad stretching. I see so many kids in minor hockey not being ready to go right when they step onto the ice. And that is a problem if you wanna be the best goaltender you can be. Time is the only thing that you can't get back. Believe me, the last thing you want at the end of your hockey career is having regret that you could have done more. This is something that I dealt with when I was done playing and I don't want any goaltender to have to go through that. The other thing to recognize is that five minutes adds up over the course of a season. If you add up five minutes over the course of 50 ice times, that is 250 minutes that you could have used to improve your skating. If you are unsure of what skating drills to do at the start of practice, you can check out our skating warm-up video on our YouTube channel. I'll link it down below for you to watch after this video. These drills do not have to be difficult. They can be very basic such as T pushes, shuffles, adjustments, or slides. We all love watching the NHL and many of us have aspirations to play there one day. But one thing that is misleading for young goalies when it comes to watching NHL goalies is that 99% of the time, all you see is gameplay footage from NHL goalies. You don't get to see all of the hard work they do on a daily basis, both on and off the ice and what they put themselves through. I can tell you straight up, from playing at a high level and now coaching. Not one goaltender that plays in the NHL made the NHL because of natural talent. They got there because they were willing to do all of the work that 99% of goalies don't want to do. Tip number two, beat the pass on your feet mentality. So what do I mean by having the beat the pass on your feet mentality at practice? This is something that I remind my Regina Pats goaltenders of on a daily basis. So whether you are just starting out or you are playing at the junior hockey level, this mentality is important if you want to have success. Most goalies will just slide over instead of beating the pass on your feet. The reason for that is because it is physically so much easier to just slide over. Trust me, I used to do this all the time because I had some very lazy tendencies as a goalie. Developing the habit of beating passes on your feet is going to help your skating and ultimately is going to help you stop more pucks. I see so many young goalies sliding in practice just because they don't have the beat the pass mentality. You will surprise yourself with how many passes you can actually beat on your feet if you have that mindset. Don't get me wrong, there is a time and place to slide, but having this mentality will push you to stay on your feet longer and will help you beat more plays. And this isn't just something you do when you are feeling good at practice. This is something you do every single day, especially on the days where you might not be feeling your best. Let's face it, there are going to be days where you just aren't feeling it or you could even be sick and or tired. That is life. And the one thing that I wish I could have told my younger self is that those are the days that build your habits and your character. Because it is really easy to take the easy way out on a lot of things when you aren't feeling good. And I'm not just talking about hockey. It could be something as easy as slipping on your chores at home when you aren't feeling good. But the second you give yourself that opportunity to take a shortcut is the second you start to build laziness. And that laziness will always come out when the times get tough. Tip number three, following your rebounds by recovering to your feet. It is important that you understand that you should be following your rebounds by recovering to your feet, only when there isn't a second opportunity close to the net. This all comes down to effort. I used to push on my pads all the time in practice because it is way easier than getting up to your feet. It is something that I wish I wouldn't have done because it affects your development in a negative way. Let's be honest. Sometimes in practice, you can't follow the rebound because the next shot is already coming at your head. But during all of the drills where you have time to follow the rebound, I want you to do so by getting up to your feet and recovering on the puck. 
I see so many kids in minor hockey not doing this on the drills that they have time to. If you actually want to play at a high level one day, you need to start recovering on pucks in practice. You would do it in a game, so why wouldn't you do it in practice? Does the ref blow the whistle after the puck goes to the corner? Of course not. Recovering to your feet as much as possible will create good habits and will give you even more reps on your skating during team practices. Another thing to keep in mind is your coaching staff recognizes hard work. They may not know about the technical side of the position, but they certainly notice when a goaltender is working hard or being lazy. So don't be lazy at practice. All right, so to recap, tip number one, five minutes of skating every ice session. Tip number two, beat the pass on your feet mentality. And tip number three, following your rebounds by recovering to your feet. If you start to do all three of these things, you will see a drastic improvement in your skating by the end of the season. Now, if you are unsure of what skating drills to do at practice, or you feel like your coaches don't quite understand what types of drills to teach you to improve your skating at your team practices, don't worry, you are not alone. A lot of goalies are in the same boat as you, which is exactly why I built the Elite Edgework Skating Program. In the program, I teach you 24 different skating drills and provide you with downloadable practice plans so you can take these practice plans to your team practices and begin to start improving your skating. Click the link below to learn more about the Elite Edgework program. I'll see you in the next video.